we don't know how to free Zelda, but we do know why kids love them and critics hate them. John Stossel reports, nuts for Nintendo, when 2020 continues. It may be the most addictive toy in history, and it's definitely the hottest thing this Christmas. Nintendo video games. They first arrived from Japan uh, three years ago, and now millions of American kids are hooked and mesmerized. When they do stop to talk, it's in a language only they understand. Well, John Stossel went out to discover the secret of Nintendo's success, but first he had to find one. New York City, early in the morning. Before the toy store is open, they're lined up outside. I'm in line, too, because the director of 2020 said, Stossel, I hate to ask, but you've got to help me get my kid a copy of Super Mario Brothers 2. This man came all the way from Indiana to get one. He came a thousand miles just for this game? Yes. I've done seven stores a day for three weeks now. And I cannot find it. I have to live with my kids for the rest of the year, so I have to have this on Christmas Day. So to please the kids, they line up at the few stores that have been able to get copies of the hottest Nintendo games, Mario 2 and The Adventure of Link. Have, um, Super Mario now what's Nintendo, you ask, and why should you care? Well, I think it's something you should know about because it's captured America's children. School bus drivers report the kids are talking less about clothes and sports and what Joe did to Jane, and more about... When you get to those things that go up and down, you just jump on them. It's... After school, even on the day that brings the first beautiful snowfall of the season, everyone's eager to get inside the house so they can rush to get to the television set. Now, usually they don't play together. We invited them to a Nintendo party. They pop the cartridge into this deck, which attaches to any television set. These controls direct the characters. The better your eye-hand coordination, the better you do. Never has there been a toy that's been this successful. Bruce Apar is editor of a magazine that follows the industry. How big a hit is this? This is as big or bigger than anything the toy industry has ever seen. Um, I'll, I'll give you one comparison of Barbie, which is an institution uh, does about a half a billion dollars a year. Nintendo does over three times as much. Now, why is it so successful? Well, the people in the industry say Nintendo simply has the best games. They come in two categories. Sports games such as tennis, hockey, football, boxing. All with good graphics and sound effects. Even more popular are the adventure games like Super Mario. They tend to have ludicrous plots. Mario is an Italian plumber who, under your control, enters the Mushroom Kingdom to fight off killer turtles and deadly ducks until he can rescue the Princess Toadstool. The kids love it. What's good about it? Birdo. He shoots the eggs out of his nose. And also there's this part where you can't go anywhere except for fall down a pit, but you pick up this thing and the, this rocket appears out of nowhere and it flies to another board. It's weird. And it's a big improvement over the first video games like Atari's Pong and Space Invaders. Because today's computer chips are better. They have more memory. There's much more involved in playing the game, much more excitement. There's better use of colors, better use of music. It's not just stick figures anymore. We have literally over a hundred different characters, people, animals, wizards, spells. You see this spread out over different worlds. When I say different worlds, entirely different sets if you think about the way a movie is produced. There are levels with caverns and you break into underground oceans. There are secret holes that you go into. The kids delight in finding new twists to the games, secret passages they didn't discover the first times they played. Bizarre new weapons. They're throwing things that I've never even discovered in this game. Yeah, because you, because you don't know. If you're a grown-up, you hardly know, rem, well, you hardly do, do this. If we you're a grown-up, you, you have work, work to do. Now, the, the chips, the technology that goes into this, was invented in the United States. Yet, 
The Japanese are the ones who make it a hit. Why, why is that? Nintendo uh, is a 100-year-old company uh, in Japan, and they learned their lessons well. When buyers lost interest in the first generation of video games about four years ago, Nintendo quietly watched as American companies quit the business. Nintendo then bought licenses to the best of the arcade games. They created new games by getting independent designers to compete against each other for the right to work with Nintendo. Nintendo, please hold. One moment. Thank you, may I help you? And in Seattle, at the company's U.S. headquarters, they listened to the customers. 50,000 people call Nintendo's 800 number every week, asking for help with the games. Phones are manned by games fanatics, who often play other games while answering questions. What that is, when you're at that link, though, you're almost at that point. Okay, what you want to do is, like I said, jump on the guy with the carpet. In Japan, the games are an even bigger success. These people are upset because even after waiting all night, they were unable to get their kids a new version of a game called Dragon Quest. In the U.S., it's mostly Mario that they want. The last Super Mario Brothers 2 was just sold. And they get upset. Well, they say, oh, can you take my name? Can you take my credit card, please? Can you do something? My kid wants it. His friend has it, and they're not friends anymore because he doesn't have it. All this makes me wonder, is the shortage real, or are they holding back supplies to increase the mystique? Coleco denies it, but industry insiders say that's exactly what happened with their Cabbage Patch doll a few years ago. The company shipped fewer dolls to increase the excitement. Today, some people in the toy business suspect Nintendo's holding games back. And while videotaping in Japan, we did see plenty of the hard-to-get cartridges. The company denies that it's holding back. Believe me, uh, creating a shortage of this kind was nobody's design, and uh, uh, it's just one of those combinations of demand that far exceeded uh, uh, our most optimistic projections and an inability on the chip supplier to fulfill it. Now you really messed up. All this brings us to a final question. Should parents buy these games at all? The National Coalition Against Television Violence thinks they shouldn't because they say they're bad for kids. Like I like how you shoot the people with boomerangs and bombs. I just like jumping on things and killing them and shooting things. The coalition says this will make some kids act violently. Well, I don't know about that, but there's another problem. Watching the kids play seeing the intensity of their interest, the word obsession comes to mind. Um, I bet I'm much better than him at Zelda. How many hours do you play a day? Around one or two. Two hours a night? It's when a you, lot. When you shouldn't be doing your homework? Yeah. Cause she doesn't like This it. girl's mother doesn't like the game. Because she thinks that you're going brain dead while you're watching it. Maybe you will be brain dead from staring at this thing all the time. No. And while we were talking, Mom was watching all this warily. It gets their mind off school when they first come home from school, but then it gets their mind totally off school. So we had to take it away for a while because homework wasn't getting done. Bedtime got pushed aside. What do you mean take it away for a while? I disassembled it and put it in the back of a closet for a while. But now you're letting them play again. Not as much. John, what's your feeling after watching this? Does it make them, uh, you know, brain dead, as you said? Or isn't there a certain amount of imagination that you have to use for this game? I think that's true, that it's not just like watching television. You have to use imagination. There are all these ways to handle the games. I think under the right time limits, it's fine. In fact, I got one while doing the story, and I'm going to keep it. Because for you, or would you give it to your child? Well, my three-year-old likes kill ducks, kill ducks, and my wife and I stayed up till midnight <laughs> playing it. And you don't mind the so-called violence in it, kill ducks, kill ducks? They're animated characters, yeah. and yeah. Uh, I just think you have to pay attention and limit the time, and it's fine. Now I know how you're spending the holidays, That's watching right. Nintendo. Playing Nintendo. <laughs> playing Nintendo. Thank you, John. Now on to a much more serious report.